నమస్తే స్వాగతం గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ నమస్కారం బోన్జోర్ను అండ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ బీయింగ్ విత్ మీ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ యాజ్ వీ ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ ది కన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్టర్నేట్ నాస్ట్రల్ బ్రీదింగ్ టేకింగ్ ఇట్ ఫర్దర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆన్ టుడే మై బ్యూటిఫుల్ టీషర్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ మై వెల్ష్ యోగా ఫ్యామిలీ who when i was there last time felt i needed to have a dragon on my side and uh, so this is the welsh dragon and so as a connection to my welsh yoga family wearing it this morning as we go on to this session i have been listening to a excellent talk by my dear matthew taylor smart safe yoga usa who has been the past president of the international association of yoga therapists and this morning he has given us a wonderful talk bringing together the concepts of pain the pandemic the plexus and the purpose with a focus on grounding ourselves and realizing what we do locally is vital because we have been constantly expanding outwards forgetting that the local is where we are grounded very beautiful thoughts from uh, madman this morning and uh, set the stage for a very beautiful start to today we have been looking at the concept of energy and i cannot say it enough but we are energy beings and that is why in the gita and the tradition everything we do is related to energy it doesn't matter whether it is a pranayama a mudra a bandha an asana a kriya energy is a vital component of the whole traditional teachings of rishi culture ashtanga yoga as codified by my father swami geeta nanda giri and developed in a very beautiful systematic manner by my mother amma ji minakshi devi bhavana when we think about energy and the way the energy comes into our system the nadis that a part and parcel of our psychic anatomy and physiology 72,729,360,000 all these numbers are there. three vital flows pingala on the right ida on the left sushumna down the center and ultimately the whole goal in hatha yoga is that the kundalini which is at the base of the spine the kundalini shakti from the kandha has to come up through the sushumna into the brahma randha and that is where the emergence of shakti and shiva occurs this is where the emergence occurs and this energy flow has to occur seamlessly without a block and hence all the practices that we are doing are practices to unblock the system people go around saying you know i'm doing this practice to awaken this chakra and i'm going to activate this chakra that's a lot of egotistical nonsense all these energies are already there we are disconnected from the energy because of the blockages the mala mala that is there the blockages that are there those blockages are preventing us from accessing those energies so what we are doing is purifying ourselves cleansing ourselves unblocking so that the connections can move in a seamless manner nice to see my dear giriraj from 
Brazil with me. We had planned a trip to Brazil this year. Looks like it's going to be next year, thanks to all the travel restrictions. But we'll have our satsanga from here anyway. So coming back to where we were yesterday, the right flow pingala nadi, the left flow ida nadi, the pingala terminating at the right nostril surya nadi, and the ida terminating at the left nostril chandra nadi. So when we are working with the right and left nostril flows, we are working with the pingala and the ida nadi flows. This has to be the fundamental understanding. In order to work with pingala, we are trying to breathe exclusively through the right nostril. When we want to work with the ida nadi, we are working exclusively with the left nostril. I hope you are with me on this. Right nostril is not just being done for the sake of doing right nostril, but the right nostril breathing is being done for the sake of working with the Pingala Nadi flow. Why are we doing left nostril? Not because we have nothing else to do. We are doing the left nostril because we want to work with the Ida. What is the Pingala? The Pingala is primarily our sympathetic nervous system. And what is the Ida? It is primarily our parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is of an activatory nature. The parasympathetic nervous system is a deactivatory relaxatory nature. The sympathetic keeps us alive. The parasympathetic gives us a life. We need both. And the right energy flows. Now people often are talking right and left. Does it mean the left does not have any of this? And does the right not have any of this? Um, I, I think we have to remember these are poetic metaphors. These are metaphors. Okay. It doesn't mean the whole of your right side only is sympathetic and left side is parasympathetic. This is basically to help us understand the balance between the equal and opposite flows. Because right down at your cellular level, you have the anions and cations. You have the positive negative flux. You have that balance seeking going on. Right down into the atomic level. You have the electrons and the protons and they are seeking balance. So it is a representational concept when we say right and left. This, this is something we have to be very careful because otherwise sometimes people get a bit stuck with this. So when we are working on this, what we are trying to do is work on everything. When you are working on the right, you are working with everything that is connected to the positive flux of energy and on the left with the negative flux of energy. So the positive flux of energy, the negative flux of energy may be understood as solar and lunar. That is why Chandra, Surya and Chandra. It can be understood as the Ha and the Ta. It can be understood as the Loma and the Viloma. All of this is happening. And then this is taken even, even more deeper. Even, even more deeper when we realize that what we are working with is the equivalent of Prana and Aparna. Now, these are energies that are part and parcel of the Pancha Prana Vayu, which are the energies that enable our functioning apparatus. Hridi Prano Gude Aparna Samana Nabi Mandale Udana Kanta Deshasto Vyana Sarva Shari Ragaha. The Shiva Samhita tells us so beautifully that these energies are the energies that enable everything to happen. And where the home base, 
of each one is. Prana's home base is the heart center. Aparna's uh, home base is the near the anal region, the gude. Samana is the navel center. Udana is the throat. And Vyana goes throughout the body. It doesn't mean Prana is limited to only here. It is its home base. It's like all these multinational companies who will have, you know, the corporate office in one place and spread globally. Same thing. Prana's home base is here and it goes throughout the body doing whatever it needs to do. Prana with respiration. Aparna with excretion. Samana, digestion. Udana, communication. Dhyana, circulation and the transmission of neuronal impulses. These are just a very iceberg aspect of it. Remember, when we are using modern terminologies with regard to these concepts, the modern terminologies are only touching the tip of the iceberg. So do not stop there. Oh, prana is respiration. Finished, I know it. Huh? We know nothing. The moment we realize we know nothing, we start to learn. That is the first stage in learning. And that is why when we talk of these equal and opposite energies, we often talk of the term prana and aparna. And the concept of prana and aparna is also used as inhalation and exhalation. That is another uh, reference that comes, especially when you go into the Bhagavad Gita in its perspective on these terms. In the Gita Nanda tradition, we often use the term prana and aparna as the equivalent of these equal and opposite energies. So prana would be the right, aparna would be the left. It doesn't mean prana is on the right and aparna is on the left. This is to help us work with it. This is just the kid glove handling. This is the LKG aspect that we have to start someplace. So this prana energy has a tendency to go up and out. And the aparna energy has a tendency to go down and out. So these energies are moving in opposite directions. That is why we often use them as the key. So coming back to where we were. The right nostril, the Surya Nadi is an opportunity. When we work with the Surya Nadi, it is happening automatically. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you practice yoga or not, automatically there is something called a nasal cycle. And this nasal cycle, Swarodaya Vigyan, is something that has been known for yogis for thousands of years and in modern science in the last 60 years or so, there have been some descriptions of the nasal cycle, not just in human beings, but in pigs also. Remember, we are not too far away from pigs. When they started using insulin for diabetes, uh, they found that the insulin from the pig, porcine insulin was very, very close to human. And the second one was cow, bovine insulin. In fact, bovine insulin differs from human insulin by only two amino acids. So we are just two amino acids different than a cow. Just let that sink in. We are two amino acids different than a cow. And I'll take it even a step further. We are only one amino acid different than a pig. So much for human superiority. We are the top of evolution. We are the master. We are just one amino acid away from being a pig. When I learned this in my medical studies, I used to laugh aloud. My fellow students used to wonder if I had gone mad. And I often say, yes, we all go mad. As my father would say, everyone goes mad. So if you are going to go mad, why not for God? Why not for the divine? Why not for the universe? Hmm? That is why the people I love like Subramanya Bharatiya, the great poet of Tamil culture, he was a total madman. And that's why I love him a lot. Hmm? I have some very good friends like Kaustub, who's also mad. Most of my friend circle, this morning you listen to Ma Matthew Taylor talk on the Cita page. He's also mad. All of us. It's, 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 a, it's a good circle to have such company of mad people. And then you realize that what is understood as normal may not be normal. And what is understood as abnormal may actually be normal.
Uh, we are being challenged. What we considered normal last month, as Matthew said this morning, is not normal anymore. What we considered abnormal a month ago is now normal. And this is the way changes happen. Right nostril, Surya Nadi working on the Pingala flow of energy. And the modern understanding of it is the sympathetic nervous system. Do not limit the Pingala to only the sympathetic. It is a modern understanding. I am trying to give a link between the traditional teaching and the modern understanding. This is, this is part and parcel of the Gita Nanda tradition. My father was also a medical doctor and brought this in. And I am continuing to do that. We are just trying to find a space, a room, where there can be this conversation between the ancient and the modern. And please remember, if the modern is still not able to express or understand the ancient, it doesn't mean the ancient is wrong. It just means the modern has not yet found the right terminology of concepts. And this is why for me it is not about science validating yoga. But when science and yoga come to a similar place, I feel very happy because now they are in the same room. They are talking terms. It's a lovely place to be, in fact. So when we work on the right nostril, something else is also happening. What is happening? We are now working with the left brain. Right nostril, left brain, left nostril, right brain. When I'm teaching the kids at Yoga Anjali, and I think one of the best things I do in my life is teach kids. Because when you do that, you are changing the future of humanity. When you teach young kids yoga, please do it. And if you are doing it, my applause for you, my admiration for you. When I'm teaching the kids about right and left brain, because for me, it's a fascinating aspect of energy flow. How the right side of the body is governed by the left brain, left side of the body by the right brain. There's this beautiful crisscross happening just around the Ajna Chakra area. Bro Madhya Ajna Chakra area is where the crisscross is occurring. That is why when people have a stroke, if there's a, a blood clot or you know hemorrhage in the left side, the right side of the body is affected up to this area. But then what happens is above here, the same side is affected. So if the clot is here, this will be affected. But then everything below here will be affected. And if it is here, this will be affected and everything below here. This is how you diagnose uh, which part of the brain there is a hemorrhage or the block when you are dealing with patients who have had a stroke. That is care. When you want to understand yourself, you realize that this cross is happening here, crisscross. And the cross is not outside, it is within us. There's a beautiful crisscross within us. The left brain is about quantity. So I tell the kids, this is your Lakshmi brain. Left Lakshmi, LL, another way to remember it. And the right brain is all about creativity, music, dance, abstract thinking. And that is Saraswati. So I say Lakshmi brain, Saraswati brain, Saraswati brain, Lakshmi brain, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Saraswati, Lakshmi. And you are trying to create a cross linkage between them. And that is why when, when you are only doing right nostril, you are working with this. When you are doing left nostril, you are working with this. And when you do alternate nostril, you are creating a beautiful Criss, cross, criss, cross, criss, cross. It looks like the infinity symbol, okay? Uh, or the proportionality symbol. That is what you are creating when you do the alternate nostril breathing. Right here, you are creating a beautiful crisscross, cross, which is basically your corpus colossal fibers. You are strengthening the integration of the two equal and opposite parts of you. And that is why integration is happening. A true yoga is happening. Between the diametrically opposite parts of you are coming together. Maybe the jerkal and hide is coming together. Who knows? Huh? The man and the animal, the human and the divine. Every aspect of us is coming together. And this is a very good example where that is happening. Same thing happens when you do the yoga mudra and you bring the two hands together with the fingers. 
and place it in your lap, same type of thing is happening. Whenever you do a practice on the right and the left, in a yoga asana, you are doing it also. But when we do the pranayamas, it is a subtler way of working with the prana. That is why pranayama has its own special place because it is a subtler way to work with it. So when you do the right nostril, you are working with the left brain, left nostril, right brain, and the alternate nostril is creating a beautiful sense of integration where the right brain knows what's happening in the left, the left knows what's happening in the right, and you are in the present moment knowing exactly what is happening in the two parts of you. There's nothing hidden. Let, let us perform a few rounds of right nostril breathing and left nostril breathing at this moment. We'll just do six rounds of each. Three is the minimum we should do. Then six and nine is the number to take it up and we'll take it up over the next few days when we do it. Using the Vishnu Mudra or if you prefer the Nasarga Mudra, it is okay. What we are going to do is that we are going to be closing the left. Okay, I'm closing my left nostril. You can see I'm closing it, okay. Or if you're doing the Nasarga, you would be doing it this way, okay? Fine. And what we are going to do is make sure that you're sitting with your spine aligned. Close the left nostril and let us breathe out. Breathe in through the right. Two, three, four, five, six. And breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Bring your hand down to your lap and just enjoy a few moments of contemplation. We have been breathing in exclusively the right nostril. In fact, we have very consciously made that decision to breathe exclusively into this Surya Nadi, opening up the solar energy channel on the right side. Enabling the Pingala flow of energy to be manifesting through the right dominance, activation, the positive flux. And at the same time working on the left brain, the Lakshmi aspects of our life and our day-to-day -day activities. Contemplate the flow of energies within you. A beautiful introspective contemplation based on Swadhyaya, Swadhyaya where we are trying to study our own self, understand our self better. Excellent. Now let's do the left nostril. Okay. So when we do the left nostril, what we are going to do is that I am going to be using here in the Vishnu Mudra, I am going to using this finger to close. If I were doing the Nasarga, I would just close with the thumb. Okay, so depending on which mudra you are using, we would do this. Closing your right nostril, we are going to breathe to the left only. Okay, breathe out, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. 
Vedem? And without. Vedem? 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 Veda. Vedem. Veda. Vedem. Veda. Relax your hand to the thighs, sitting quietly, contemplating the beautiful energies set up in the left part, the Ida Nadi, the Chandra Nadi, enabling the flow on the left side and also working on the right brain, the Saraswati aspects of our personality and our day-to-day -day living. Enjoy the beautiful sense of energy flow through the left peripheral energy channel. We have been working with the right, the Surya Nadi, which is the Surya Nadi Pranayama or Surya Pranayama. There are two terms. On the left, Chandra Nadi Pranayama or just Chandra Pranayama. And we always do the right followed by the left because when you do the right, you are activating and when you do the left, you are deactivating. So at the end of the practice, you will have a sense of balance. So right followed by left, a very beautiful sense of balance is produced in the nervous system. Now, when this is taken forward, what happens is that we have what is called the aloma viloma, A-L-O-M-A, and then viloma, V-I-L-O-M-A, aloma viloma, where we are going to be doing an alternate nostril breathing where we breathe in right, out left, in left, out right. And Swamiji has usually suggested that these should be done with the Savitri. But today, just so that you get a flow of it, we are doing in a very simple six count. When we take this forward over the next few days, we'll add in the Savitri, which is a pranayama where you breathe in and breathe out for an equal count but you hold in and hold out for half the count. So, for example, if you breathe in for six, hold for three, breathe out for six, hold for three, or eight, four, or ten, five, depending on your breathing capacity on your level of sadhana. Let's just perform here a simple, we'll just do a few rounds of the Aloma Viloma just as an introduction today. So, again, using the Vishnu Mudra, Breathing out, breathing in, right nostril, breathing out, left nostril, breathing in, left nostril, breathing out, right nostril. Breathing in right, out left, in left, out right. In right, Out left, in left, 
out, right? In, right? Out, left. In, left. Out, right. In, right. Out, left. In, left. Out, right. In, right. Out left, in left, out right. Release your hands to your thighs and just contemplate the beautiful sense of integration we have brought into our system by a mindful, conscious attempt to balance the equal and opposite energies. We have been attempting to balance the right with the left and the left with the right. The Surya with the Chandra, the Chandra with the Surya, the Pingala with the Ida, the Ida with the Pingala. The Loma with the Viloma, the Viloma with the Loma, the Prana with the Apana and the Apana with the Prana. The Prana being offered into the Apana and the Apana being offered into the Prana as so beautifully stated in the Bhagavad Gita by Lord Krishna. Creating a beautiful understanding between your left and right veins, the Lakshmi and Saraswati aspects of you enabling them to manifest in a sense of harmonious coexistence, enabling us as an individual to be a balanced person. Grab your palms together, generating some nice warmth. Place the warmth over your eyes, your forehead and your head. We will conclude this short session for today we are going to be continuing this every day and it will be on this yoga charya dr ananda balayogi bhavanani page so please i'm not marketing myself but please like that page so that whenever i go live you get an alert and you can be with me i don't want to miss your company at all now and then when I do the global prayer, I switch over to my FB account just to keep other people who have not yet been able to shift from account to page to make sure I reach as many as I can. And again, join us for all our offerings through CITA. We have had some beautiful sessions uh, by all our members. We have had our CITA staff, Dr. Meena, Daya, Charu and Danush. We have had our PhD scholars, our uh, PG students join in and we have had some amazing guest presentations. Uh, this morning by Matthew Taylor. We have been having lovely sessions with Yoga Charini Devasena Bhavanani. We have had an amazing meditative session with my dear Lee Blaschke and I'm hoping that more of my international family will also join us uh, in this effort to keep yoga, the message of yoga reaching everyone for yogic self-care at this time when we really need to take care of ourselves. Namaste and see you all soon in a few moments for the synchronized global prayer. Till then, have a wonderful time.